Futures trading is risky and can result in substantial financial loss. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe. Welcome to Short Term Trading Live with Oscar. We are the short term traders with the long term plan. And that plan is to be here and be able to trade for the rest of our lives. Some days you're going to have a tough day, other days you're going to have a good day. But if you keep your stops in and you put your stops first, most likely you'll be here to survive the next day. We got some trades lined up for today. Uh, date being 110707, and it is Wednesday, 110707, middle of the weekday. And usually by the middle of the week, markets start making their last ditch move before the end of the week comes and they go in the proper direction that you'd expect them to go in. Lots of times Fridays are trend following days. So hump day starts leaning towards the trend following day. Hump day is tomorrow. Let's see what we got. Traders off the bat. We got two green omnis. Green omni in the S&P, the ESZ7 for the mini and the SPZ7 for the large. Omni says buy it between 1521 and 1518. Somewhere in that gap right there on the way down. Put in some buy orders and get yourself long some E-mini S&Ps. We're trading about 1522 currently, so put your orders in. Omni's profit objective on that trade, the mid to high 1530s, the mid to high 1530s. Buying them around 21 down to 18, selling them out in the mid to high 1530s if we get them, or MOC, market on close. Don't forget traders, place your orders, MIT market if touched when you do e-mini orders this way. If, in fact, the market gets right down to your buy level, hits it once and takes off, market, if touched, turns it into a live market order, and then you get filled, and at least you get to participate in the area you are hoping to do your buying in. Next, we have copper. Copper, the HGZ7 high-grade DEC contract. Omni says to buy in the mid to low 330s, the mid to low 330s, you're looking to buy some copper. Omni's profit objective on that is the mid to high 340s. That's a lot of movement. Copper traders were looking for possible 10 cent movement there. You're buying in the 330s, you're selling them out in the 340s, or be out MOC. As with the E minis, place your orders MIT market if touched in the copper. For the same reason, if the market dips down, right to your exact buy level, touches it once it goes up, at least you get filled on a market order somewhere at the price you were hoping to participate. Another green omni, remember trades, keep it simple, keep your analysis simple, keep your focus simple, don't get analysis paralysis, don't get nervous about this, put your orders in, put your stops in, and let the market do its thing. Stick to your guns is something we always tell traders, we have all sorts of formations that we follow here. Right now in copper, we just happen to be, we did a, a we put in a top, we dropped, we put in a second top, we dropped, we put in a third top, we dropped. This is on a daily bar. And now we're starting to head back towards that triple top. My analysis tells me when you get above a triple top, you break out to all time new levels. It looks like it's going to make an attempt for the triple top. I will keep you informed if we get closer to that triple top. Let's see what happens. The S&P trade is a little bit of a counter trend trade right now because the S&P looks like it has one of these head and shoulders formations in it. The S&P has a, a shoulder, then the market moved a little higher, put it ahead, and now right here it's starting to look like it's putting in a third shoulder, uh, a third a third formation of the head and shoulders, the third part of the pattern. So you have shoulder, head, and shoulder forming. We're heading up right now tonight going towards that shoulder. We started heading up this afternoon on Tuesday. It may come up here and start creating the third shoulder. Traders, if that is true, then down we will go over the next few weeks. But for tomorrow, we are short-term traders. We are day traders. And it looks like it wants to go up a little. So let's buy it on the dip in the S&P and see what happens. Okay, traders, that's about all I have for today, for Wednesday, for trading, or for Tuesday night, for trading on Wednesday. 
Tomorrow night we'll come out with a video. We'll show you a few more of these formations. I drew on the board for you. We'll see if we can give you a little more insight into these charts and what we see. So stay tuned for tomorrow's video. And for tonight, give us a call anytime, day or night, if you'd like to reach us. 702-629-4755 is the phone number. For you premium room traders, there is a third trade. We gave out an S&P. We gave out a copper. There's a third trade, traders, and no one else is getting this but the premium guys. Premium traders, VIP guys, traders that have an account with me at Dorman. If you want to find out about the third Omni trade tonight, give us a call, 702-629-4755. I'll say it again. Make sure you call me, and I'll give you the third Omni trade that we're sort of keeping in-house for ourselves. Okay, traders, shoot me out emails if you'd like at oscar at futuresanalysts.com. And don't forget, as I always tell you, to do your own homework. Last but not least, if you traders that have searched the web and found my videos by accident, if you don't know how you found me, we have a whole bunch of YouTube videos, about 228 of them now, 227? 225. 225 videos edited and ready for you with lesson upon lessons on analysis like I showed you on the board, but much more in depth. Take a look at those videos. You can find us at www.youtube.com forward slash futures analysts. Okay, traders, don't forget to say this to yourselves. You know what I'm going to say next. Say this every day. Say it every morning. Say it every evening. And certainly say it when you're buying in between 21 and 18 tomorrow in the S&P because it's going to get scary. And you know what that is? Stop sorry. Emotions are out! Okay. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided. That being said, I am a 24-year seasoned trader on and off the floors. This is how I've made my living for many, many years. Good luck trading.